Uh, well, first of all, all this entire program of Rainbow began way back around 83 or 84, around that time, when I realized that uh, we had so many children on the street and nobody was doing anything at all about them. In those days, no one was even seeing them. So I began with just bringing them in every afternoon. The in class nine girls began that they came in every afternoon. And then slowly, slowly, we began to bring them in for the whole day. And I began to see during the work experience time how nice it would be if the regular children could sit with them and teach them. And that's how it all began. And we began by getting them, when they began, they began then to realize that all these big hoardings and the fronts of the buses and the tops of the shops had messages for them if they could read. And they began coming in with Boralin, B-O-R, making the signs, finding little scraps of paper on the street with, uh, and they'd find a little stub of a pencil and they would have copied down something from the front of a shop. They'd be coming and saying, well, sister, what does this sign mean? And that was how they got really interested in learning how to read. And then once they picked up reading, I am Mukherjee. I am College second year. Cyber boys and lottery school share the history. Chutuala, I am a Baba cancer in Marajan. I am a Maki, Hotte, Barku, and I am a Takuma, Takuta, Pishira. To Takuna Maui, I am a Dutu Bone Kenny, and Takuna Chutu Bone Mondira, Takun Mar Petit Chudo. Taparama Maya said, Bridge Bij Station and Gai Okane, Okano people which you are from Horimot and Taki plastic. তারপরে যেহেতু মা আমাদেরকে খাবাতে পাচ্ছিল না খুব খাবারের দরকার ছিল তাই মা রোজ ব্রেজবিস থেকে শিশু ভবনে যেত খিচুড়ি আনতে ওখানে ফ্রিতে খিচুড়ি দিত খাদ খেতে তো আমার মা আমাদের দু বোনকে নিয়ে তখন আমার বোন ছোট বোন হয়ে গিয়েছিল তো তিন বোনকে নিয়ে আমার মা শিশু ভবনে রোজ যেত খিচুড়ি আনতে লে রেগুলার যাওয়া আসা করত তো যেতে যেতে একদিন লয়টি স্কুলের এক দরবান মেঘনাথ আঙ্কেল উনি দেখেন উনি দেখেন আমার মাকে বলে যে এখানে বাচ্চাদেরকে তুমি রাখো এখানে সিস্টার এক বাচ্চাদের জন্য ভালো জায়গা খুঁজেছে তো তুমি এসো শি লিভড উইথ হার মাদার এন্ড হার ওল্ডার সিস্টার এন্ড ইয়ঙ্গার সিস্টার আউট ইন মেটিয়া ব্রুজ দে হ্যাড নথিং এট অল দে ওয়ার অন দ্য সাইড অফ দ্য রোড এন্ড দেন স্লোলি দ্য অথরিটিজ ইন মেটিয়া ব্রুজ গেভ এভরিবডি এ টাইনি লিটল স্ট্যাম্প পেপার অফ ল্যান্ড এন্ড উই ওয়েন্ট আউট উই হেল্প টু বিল্ড হার হাউস a tiny little house with a few bricks. Ma, she, she, I'm not going to put it there. So, I'm going to assist them on Java, I'm going to put them বাড়িতে রেগুলার এরিয়ান বোর্ডিংয়ে থাকতাম না এখন আমি একটা বেজ বীজ বলে জায়গা আছে তারাতলা বেজ বীজ ওখানে হচ্ছে কে এমনি বাজে জায়গা কিন্তু বহুদিন বাস করছি সবাই আছে কিন্তু এই জোয়ান মেয়েদের নিয়ে আমাদের ওখানে থাকার কোনো ইয়ে নেই কিন্তু আমি বয়স হয়ে গেছে থেকে গেছি বা আছি জানি না কতদিন থাক And then um, when these local mafia saw this and they saw that she was getting, uh, you know, she was working and children were looking a little tidier and all that kind of stuff and they began to demand money from her. And so the mother refused the money and then they threatened her. They said, well, you've got three very pretty daughters. We'll see them. And at that stage then she was terrified. So she came and begged and we kept the children in. I'd already started with a few others as well. So Padu was one of the early ones and her older sister and her younger sister. মা কে দে সিস্টার কে বলে যে এই যে তিনজন কে নিয়ে আমি অতদূর থেকে আসে যাব আমার আমার জন্য সম্ভব হচ্ছে না আর আমি কাজ করতে পারছি না এদেরকে আমি যদি এদের এখানে রাখা হয় খুব ভালো হবে তারপরেই আমরা রেনবোতে এসে প্রথম থাকতে শুরু করি
আমি এখানে আসি শিলামিসি আমাকে বাংলায় বাংলা শেখায় আমি তখন পড়তে লিখতে পারতাম না তো প্রথম আমি ইংলিশে বাংলা ভার্সনে পড়াশোনা শুরু করি তারপরে আমাকে যখন আমি বেসিক ল্যাঙ্গুয়েজ মানে বেসিক জিনিসটা শিখে যাই তারপরে শিলামিস আমাকে প্র্যাকটিস গার্লস হাই স্কুলে ভর্তি করে যেটা ইন্টারনেট মার্কেটের পেছনে এরা তিন বোন এসেছিল সেই সময় এদের বয়স ছিল তিন চার পাঁচ তাদেরকে নিয়ে গেলাম প্র্যাকটিস মিশনে ভর্তি করলাম এখান থেকে এরা যাওয়া আসা করতো কিন্তু বাকি সময়টা আবার এখানে ফেরত এসে আমার কাছে পড়তো তাদের যতটা পারতাম আমি ওদের হেল্প করতাম হাতের কাজ শেখাতাম সেরাই শেখাতাম এখন আমি বিদ্যাসাগর কলেজে সেকেন্ড ইয়ারে পড়ছি আর আমি পুরো আঠেরোটা বছর আমি এই রেনবোতে থেকেই পড়াশোনা শেষ করেছি আমি বিএ বিএ কমপ্লিট করার পর আমাকে বিএড করার ইচ্ছা আছে যেটা আমি টিচার্স লাইনে যাওয়ার জন্য যেতে পারি ক্লাস টেন পাস করার পর সিস্টেম আমাদের একটা ফ্ল্যাট দিয়েছে যেখানে শুধু আফটার ক্লাস মানে সিনিয়র গার্লস মেয়েরা ওখানে থাকে She came in, what was she, maybe five or six when she came into school. I can't remember exactly. But she grew up here and she went to school regularly and she has turned out extremely well. I watched her grow from just a small little, almost like a little rat. And she has become such a beautiful, very beautiful girl, tall and slim and really well self-contained and self very balanced. Very, very fine product she is. I'm very happy with her. মানে আমি এখন যা আছি সব কিছু সিস্টের জন্যই আছি বা আমার পুরো ফ্যামিলি আমার ফ্যামিলি বলতে মা বোন দিদি যাই আজকে আমরা যতদূরই এসছি সিস্টের জন্যই এসছি আর যদি সিস্টার না থাকতেন আমার হয়তো আমি এরকম সাকসেসফুল লাইফ দেখতে পারতাম না বা আমাকে হয়তো ওই লোকে বাড়িতে গিয়ে কাজ করতেই হতো আমি পড়াশোনার সুযোগ পেতাম কিনা তাও সম্ভব তো সিস্টার সিল আমার জন্য একটা আমি মনে করি শি ইজ হেড অফ মাই ফ্যামিলি Hello, I'm Teresa Shaw of class 11 Humanities. I study in Lauderdale School, Shialda. And uh, I have my mother and my older sister. She's undergoing a nurse training and my mother works as a domestic help. Uh, my father was a Hindu. and my mother was Christian and there was an inter-caste marriage. Before my birth, there was apparently a conflict between my father and my mother and my father abandoned our family and from then onwards, no one knows where he is. Before coming to this school, I used to stay with my mother in his planet, Tram Depot. It is not a proper home, it's a plastic shape. There we used to stay and over there uh, the uh, Mother Teresa sister used to come and visit us and they advised my mother to go to the church and attend the masses and all that and after that they encouraged my mother to put me to school. Then she put me to Xavier Community Center at Bo Bazaar and uh, that school was up to KG. So after that I have to change my school. So the um, Mother Teresa's sister uh, advised my mother to uh, tell her to come to Shialda and then she came over here and she talked to sister and uh, from that time I joined this school uh, from class 1 and uh, up to class 3 I used to come and uh, go home uh, this scholar. She came in in the regular nursery and then we discovered that the mother was living under a tarpaulin on Esplanade 
and that the whole situation was quite difficult for Teresa. So then we brought her in. When we opened the Rainbow program, uh, you know, when we began to bring in boarders, people who would live here, um, Teresa was one of the earlier ones. As days passed, my mother realized that it was not a proper place for me to stay because I was growing older and my mother can uh, understand all the harm which was around me. So my mother uh, thought that it would be nice to, uh, for me to stay in school. So she came to sister and she talked to sister about a problem for, not, uh, for staying in the pavement. So sister agreed and from that day onwards, since uh, nine years passed, I'm staying here and staying in this rainbow home. Till now also I'm staying and I'm very happy staying there and I feel that uh, it's a proper home for me to stay rather than to stay in the pavement. In the beginning, uh, quite irresponsible. Around class seven, I called her and I spoke to her very severely on the subject of being responsible and not just simply taking everything for granted. And she was quite, quite selfish. And then uh, she changed totally. After that talk, she changed totally and she's one of my most responsible children now. Most responsible and I have great hopes for her for the future because she's clever, she has a very good standard of English and we expect great things from her. She's now in class 11. If I didn't get this opportunity of coming here, living here and uh, getting educated, free education over here, maybe I would be uh, working, as, uh, working as my mother is working now. And maybe uh, I would not study and be as my mother is now. Hello, I am Shefali Biswas. I was born in Bonga near Bangladesh border. I have four sisters, one brother, my mother and my father. In 1992, my mother died. Then my father was worried, like what will happen with four sisters and we have a youngest brother. So one of my elder sister brought me, me and my youngest brother to Kolkata. Basically, Shefali and her younger brother, Ajay, were, were being looked after by the mother who, who brought them up in the village. And I think absolutely tragically, uh, the mother was bitten by a snake and, and died. Um, and they really only had their um, elder sister, Shibra, to look after them. But she was coming from a very poor family. They, um, uh, she was a servant in somebody's house, so she wasn't able to look after them. So she, she brought them to us. In 1992, we were there. Few years we stayed there, and from there, we were we were coming to school, and that name of the school is APJ. And that time I was eight years old, and my brother was five years old. So I was unable to read uh, English, and it was very difficult for me to read and read and write. Shefali came for, to, uh, to us from Future Hope because actually uh, they found it very difficult to handle her vis-a-vis uh, -vis the boys. The boys, uh, she was quite naughty, uh, naughty in the sense of, you know, didn't want to do what she was told, didn't want to obey the matrons, uh, did what she liked. She was quite a bossy little thing apparently. And the boys were unfortunately taking up the same kind of attitudes. So Tim asked me could I possibly take her and I was very happy to get her and two other girls came with her. I stayed in Future Hope for a few years and then I was admitted to Lottery School Shialda. When I came to Lottery School Shialda, I was admitted in KG class but I was 9 years old, 10 years old and I was the older in the classroom. And initially she was, she had as I say been 4 or 5 years down in the kindergarten in APJ school and very badly damaged by just pure bad teaching. 
So she came to us and she went up through the junior school very, very fast. She did up to class four in about a year. And then from there, then she moved on to into five and she has never looked back. Then I was uh, promoted to class five. When I came to class five, I, I was up like Sister Cyril told me that it will be better for you to stay in Lottery School Shialda. And I think the great thing about uh, Loretta is that it has a fantastic education, but it has a very, very all-round education. It not only teaches children of academics, but it teaches them values for life, uh, and it educates them towards jobs. And of course, this is essential. If you've got youngsters coming off the, uh, the streets, if you've got youngsters from very poor backgrounds in the countryside, uh, if you put them into a school, you need to know that at the end of the day, they will, they will be, if they work hard and they're successful, they will get good jobs. But even here, for quite some time, there used to be contests between herself and Mary, who's our chief house mother, because she didn't want to do this, or she didn't want to wash her clothes at the right time, or she didn't want to, she didn't want to do what other people wanted to do, right? But then, uh, suddenly, again, a change, uh, a realisation of what she was doing, and an understanding, and she changed. After my school at 2 o'clock till 4 o'clock, I used to take at least 15 children and, and teach them in one of the classrooms, teach them how to read and write. So that was the um, uh, thing I was doing till uh, 3 or 4 years, from 8, 9 and 10. Uh, we're very proud of Chef Lee and the fact that she went to Loretta uh, it was quite a, a big change from being brought up in Future Hope um, and uh, she, was, she was at school there and, and she was obviously studying very well uh, and she settled into Loretta extremely well and from what I gather she's been um, particularly uh, good at helping other youngsters uh, also from similar backgrounds to herself. Her, her younger brother Ajay has remained with Future Hope. He also is very conscientious, studies very hard, a uh, very good leader uh, and in fact plays extremely good rugby and he's played uh, rugby in the, uh, uh, the Indian under 19 rugby team I think went to uh, Pakistan uh, a, a year